Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosalind. On this channel, I feature lifestyle, inspiration, and self-care. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own do-it-yourself dry potpourri display. Let's get started. I love dry potpourri and often when I'm in the store, I find ones that I like, but I don't necessarily like the scent. So I usually just head to my local craft store and pick up some of the extra elements that's gonna help to spruce it up. And they have a lot of different bowls and other elements that you can put inside of your potpourri if you would like to. And these come non scented. They are perfect for DIY projects so you can customize your own scent. For this DIY project, I'm going to use fresh fruit. I'm going to use a pear, a couple of oranges, apples, lemon, and lime. The first thing that you're gonna do is go ahead and cut each fruit up. You want to cut them as thin as possible. That's going to cut down on the amount of time that it takes for them to actually dry in the oven. If you are striving for perfection, you can use a dehydrator. I will put a link to one that has some rave reviews below. After getting all of my fruit cut up, I'm going to use a traditional baking tray. I'm also going to use a baking rack. I don't want the fruit to actually cook. I just want it to dehydrate in the stove. I'll just continue to place my fruit and making sure that none are overlapping and all of them have just enough of space. I'm actually going to need to do two racks of these based on the amount of fruit that I've uh, cut up but if you have more you can actually do two or three batches once I get all of my fruit laid out I'm going to place it in the oven after placing it in the oven the lowest setting that my oven will go is 170 so I'll go ahead and put it on 170 and this process can take anywhere from six to ten hours Usually what I'll do is I'll keep it in the oven for about an hour, hour and a half, and then I will open it up. I will take the trays out and I will flip the fruit over. And I'll do this every two hours until it is dried to my satisfaction. Sometimes if I need to leave the house, I'll turn the stove off. And in this case, I did turn the stove off because I needed to leave and run an errand. And so it stayed in the stove. I didn't continue on until the next day. I turned it on that morning and got an extra two hours in and it was completed. Next, you're going to get a bowl. I like to use a glass bowl. It's just really easy for me to clean up. Then you're gonna take your fruit and you're going to put it inside of the bowl. You can also put any type of dried flowers that you would like to at this time. I also put a link below um, for where I get some of my flowers from from time to time if I don't dry them out myself. And then the next thing that you're going to do is think about the scents that you want to bring to life. You can get a smaller bowl and you can mix the scents within that bowl to get the special aroma that you would like. I just like to sprinkle mine on top. I'm going to use the pumpkin spice that I've been using for. I love it for fall season. It smells so good. You can smell cinnamon in it. You can smell orange and some other flavors in it. But I like to bring out other scents as well. So I'll use a mandarin orange essential oil. I'll also use an orange. Um, it's actually a sweet orange. I'm also going to use a grapefruit. And it's kind of a very subtle, but it also helps um, to bring out more of the scent. And then I'm gonna use a cinnamon bark as well. And I'm just going to just sprinkle that in and put a few drops and just turn it around, just making sure it gets on everyone. You can also use a spray bottle and put a little bit of water in it and you can shake it up and then spray it on top of the mixture. It helps to make sure that the oil and water is evenly distributed. And this is a good method as well. Now is the perfect time to jar some up for a family member or a friend. All they have to do is place it inside of their favorite vase or their favorite bowl. The other option is they can put this dry potpourri inside of a pot and add water to it. They can bring it to a slow boil and turn it down and they can use it as wet potpourri. They'll just need to continuously add water and they could also add other essential oils as well to keep the aroma. For this project, we are going to use a glass vase that I purchased from Walmart. 
We're also going to use this mixture that I got from the craft store. It has a lot of great elements in it. It has different sized pine cones. It has little pumpkins. It also has squash, some leaves and some berries. Such a great mix of items for my display. And this display works very well as a centerpiece. It also works very well in your entryway if you have a table there. The aromas will really make your house smell really good, warm and inviting when people come in. I really love the way that this turned out. This is going to be great for my holiday celebration. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.